number is this? 14. Show me what the counters, what this part of the number means right there. Just show me what these counters, what that means. This would be one, one, so no, it would be three times. Okay, so, oh, so, so you, do you have enough cubes to show me that then? You think? Tell me the number again. Fourteen. Okay, and this part of the number means what? One times. One tenth. Well, could you show me with the counters what that would look like? Okay. Okay, I changed the number of counters. Can you count them and tell me how many there are? groups of 10 could you make with these? One. And if you made a group of 10, how many counters would be left over? Seven. Okay. All right. Do you have an idea of how many there could be now? Twenty. If there were twenty, how many groups of ten would there be? Two. Check and see how many groups of ten there are, and make pile count out loud as you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. So how many groups of 10 did you make? Three. And how many le counters are left over? Five. Does this help you know how many altogether? Forty, uh-huh. Okay, how, how many? Forty-four. There's forty-four? Forty-four. thirty-four? How do you, why do you think 34? Because I know 3 times is 30 and plus 4 more is 34. Is that 4 more? Mm, 35. Okay. Okay, now how many do we have? 35. would there be if we added 10 more to the 35? If you need your fingers to help you, it's okay. I just, it's just you can even put them down here and just be nervous about it.
42. How many would there be if we took 10 away from the 35? 35 again. No, we're starting with the 35. That's if we added it and then took it back. But this time we're back at the 35. I'm going to take 10 away from that 35. Forty-two. Okay. 